All right, I gotta tell you guys when I do the I do the gripping thing. See that? It feels grippy, and it's not scratching. Got a piece of flint ridge. We're just gonna do a few little. I want to get the alloy right before I cast it into the bars to roll out into the tool. Um, you know, the kind of, the kind of the, you know, the tool thing went on hold. Ah, oh, look at that. Not a mark in there. I'm not doing a full napping video, but this is some. This is my favorite color of Flint Ridge, even though it's all basically just brown. I'm just basically trying to see if it's marking the tool. And uh, you can see it's not. It's doing. And it's it doesn't. See, it's not slipping like um, like brass or steel. I made a video on making this. It's an aluminum nickel copper alloy. This is a seven ounce puck. <laughs> um, took a good bit to melt, but once I get my furnace, I could do it in bigger batches. Oh, it's working like a dream, guys. And look, no dents. It's not wearing and watch the grip see that grip this hasn't been work hardened or anything it's just been cast um, the alloy I use is supposed to be near mild steel and strength but I didn't want to make it the full alloy because I wanted it to be grippy like copper let's try a little drive-by swipe can't, it's so small I can't hardly get a hold of it. Put that on the end of a drill a hole and put it on the end of a bopper. Yeah. Winner winner, chicken dinner. We got our uh, alloy right. For our notching tool, uh, the next thing I got to do is make the mold for the uh, notching tool heads, and, uh, and then I can start production. <laughs> I'm uh, pretty happy with this. I might go ahead and nap on this a little bit. See if we can do anything. I'm slowly getting my channel together to where it's not as random. I'm telling you, it feels grip. You see how that aluminum? The aluminum gripped, but it's sheared because the rock's uh, harder. That didn't shear at all. So, grips like copper and aluminum, but holds up like. Man, that's a tough spot. <laughs> oh, it's got the crust on it, that's why. Look how pretty that is. Even though it's all brown. There, we got a little. See there? Now, that's a good flake. That'll make a nice uh, little point. Look at that. You can see it's pretty tough stuff. I'm probably going to have to stop napping though because I want to go to the store. <laughs> let me try, uh, let me get my my steel nail and I can compare it to the uh, the 
aluminum bronze. Oh, that. Yeah, see. I didn't have the aluminum bronze. Look at that. <laughs> that piece I really like. I might have to pay attention and make something out of that. Send it to Mr. McKinney to make up for that uh, challenge rock I sent him. Because <laughs> this is a good piece. They will clear this junk up, make it a nice buy face, and uh, send it out and let him work it. Sweet. It's got a little tough spot right there. So you got to get this outside crust off. That's the, uh, the part that's not... Now see that lip? You can't do this with uh, the everyday tool. <laughs> Hit right on there. Getting it flat. See there? You gotta get you gotta get the smoothness first before you try any of the big crazy stuff. And I gotta get rid of that concrete. I might need more more power than this little bopper, but we're good with a try. Oh, I felt it. Like I said, I'm just going to buy face this out, and uh, I think I'm going to give it away to somebody. I'm not sure who yet. Clear this off and then uh, save it for somebody. Probably what I'm thinking is a new subscriber will get this. And if they say that someone recommended them, I'll look through my stockpile and I'll. Uh, I'll hook the person that recommended them up with a nice piece like this. Probably not the same color because I don't have hardly any of this left, but I got some blue, green, yellow, you know, I got some pretty good stuff. So. Now, usually what I do is I clean this stuff up. And then I take all the flakes from it. Put it all in a small box and sell it. You know, one big piece like this. And then all the flakes from uh, thinning it. 
Ah, that's going nice. Get this crusty stuff off for whoever's going to have it. That's another, another tough cookie. Oh, I'm just stacking up. I got to come down. See, this crust is, is like. Uh, like pure concrete. You gotta get you gotta get a pretty low platform. See I took that I didn't really lose anything off the point. The point's gonna be in the middle here. But I took that way it actually almost to center. A little bit below center to get this and once I clear this, I'm going to be done. And uh, this, this is going to go to a new subscriber. Don't worry, like I said, if one of you uh, find people, <laughs> there we go, clear across. Okay, I'm not going to do all the napping for the winter, but there you go. A nice, even by face of uh, what I call firestorm because it looks like the smoke from a forest fire rolling through it. It's brachiated and, and uh, healed. It's a, it's a mixed, beautiful point. Um, so I'm going to clean this edge up a little bit and wrap up the video. Go a little thick in the middle. You want to you want to save it that way for a while till you're uh, till you're ready. But there we go. Have a good evening. I gotta go to the store.